G'day, g'day everyone. Mr. Economist here, and I just walked into a wall. Mr. Economist here, uh, bringing you some more Minecraft. So, we're in 1.6.4. Um, I only noticed that at the end of last episode that um, the Minecraft version had been updated. I did not do that, so it must have been automatic. So, yeah, that's cool. Thanks, Mojang. Um, or Mojang. However, I'm terrible with accents. Mojang is how you would say it in English, but I know um, Y's are. Whoops, Y's are pronounced more like a, a Y um, in a lot of Scandinavian, kind of European countries. Um, anyway. Did I say Y's are pronounced as a Y? I meant J's are pronounced as a Y. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling. So, we're in 1.6.4, which means it's time to go and load um, structures uh, to make sure they save properly. So then we can update to 1.6, uh, 1.7, um, and that's what I just did. I went into the nether and I loaded, well I explored two nether fortresses and I think um, I think I got all of them. I, if I remember correctly I've only found two nether, whoops, oh well, I've only found two nether fortresses um, so it wasn't too much work in the nether and I didn't bother loading anything else up because you're just worried about your structures. You want your structures to be saved. And to do that, you've got to be in 1.6.4 and you've got to go and explore all the chunks that the structure inhabits. Um, so it's mostly witch huts and nether fortresses, I believe, that are the things that are going to uh, cause problems. Just to be sure, I'm going to explore the three villages um, as well. So that'll be through the nether system. Um, I'm not going to show that because the tunnels are long and it is ugly and there's no rail, so not going in there. Um, one of the fortress I, fortresses I explored just then, I still got some potion effects. Um, it had nothing. I found absolutely no chests. Um, so I probably missed a lot of it, but my render dis yeah, sorry, my render distance is set to far. So even though I might not have explored all the fortress, I probably, all of it was probably rendered in and saved, so that's fine. Um, the main fortress we found, I'm pretty sure I've shown that um, in an episode, an early one. Uh, we got some good loots, we got diamond horse armor, which is I think my first piece, some more gold horse armor, five diamonds, saddle, gold, and the stuff, which is, you know, always welcome, free loot. Um, so I'm just going to pick that up and put that away. So yeah, that was that was a nice um, little um, expedition. I thought I'd I thought I'd already explored that whole area, but obviously not. Let us put that guy there. Uh, I don't know what to do with that sword. Um, I was well, I did actually record me exploring the fortress where I found um, no extra chests, but um, due to the boring nature of the video, because there was nothing to find, I just, I just thought it was a boring video, so I'm not going to include that footage, and I was also trying to explore the fortress, talk remember where I've been. I was trying to do three things at once basically and yeah I'm not very good at that. <laughs> so um, I was rambling a lot and I just thought yeah that commentary is terrible there's no point in even trying to save it. I'm just going to delete all the episode, all the, all the footage I've, had, I've got. So I'm, I went and did that. Um, that was the dodgy fortress anyway so we didn't find anything good. All this stuff I want to take with me to the um, fortified town thing we're building. Not going there this episode. 
because we've spent so much time there already. Um, this episode, I have no idea what we're doing. So there's going to be a cut while I find something to do. Let's just check this. Oh, good, it's working. And it's working quickly. Good. Let's take more chicken. Awesome. Um, I played around with that because I had put an extra hundred chickens in the egg collecting area and with um, my dispenser was just running off a burnt redstone clock so every time there was a redstone update the dispenser would shoot eight times that wasn't keeping up and I had eggs popping up all over the ground there so I went on the internet and I forgot whose video I watched it's probably common knowledge so thank you for the people who figured it out but I set up this thing and there's not supposed to be a chicken in here oh, he can live in there so yeah what it does is it just detects whenever there's an egg in the dispenser and um, it lights up and it shoots so that's great it works I'm happy I don't have any egg overflows and I've got I think it's a hundred chickens in there 120 chickens I don't know something like that so they lay eggs pretty quickly so I'm happy let's nom on some chicken um all these farms all the trampled crops you see on these farms they're all from chickens that escaped from that I had a bit of a clean up um the last time I had a chicken escape or some chickens escape it, I think it was about 150 that got out and I killed probably about 130 and the rest just wandered off so I've got a lot of chickens in this area but they um I think a lot of them have fallen in lakes and stuff anyway I'm rambling again I'm good at that <laughs> let's just chop that I want that over here because I'm going to use some chicken did I walk on that? oh I must okay um alright well I'm going to go explore um I'm going to go load up the villages, the three villages already, that we already have, and I've already loaded up a witch hut, it's actually right by the fortified town, and there's another witch hut, uh, whose coordinates I've forgotten, I think it's that way somewhere, in a swamp, yeah, that way I think, so I'll go load that up too, um, I'm going to take Centurion for that trip. I think he's actually hiding in the portal of one of the villages. Where is it? Let's take that. Whoops, no, don't do that. Alright, anyway, so I'm going to see you guys, and we should name him. I'm going to see you guys um, when I have something I want to show you. Alright guys, Mr. Economist here, and we're back with 13W38C. I'm just going to take some screenshots of this. I don't believe I've gotten the tip your waiter um, text before and my, I make all the thumbnails for my Minecraft LP um, a picture of the title screen and all of them have a unique text if you hadn't noticed. So, now you know. Yeah just some worlds of mine. I actually don't have a private world. My private world is this as well. Oh cool! I have to redo the achievements. I like that. Sweet. Press E. Yes. Achievement get. Oh this is so cool. Oh that is really 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 awesome. Whoops. Oh yes. Oh, the reeds are a different colour. I actually think I prefer the other colour of reeds. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the leaves look slightly different, I think. I think. That definitely looks different. That looks weird. It looks a lot darker. Let's just put those back. And we've already got some Endermen. Very nice. <laughs> They've got four particles when they land. 
<laughs> that looks so weird. Aw, oh, I don't like that. My farm looks funny now. I'm going to laugh every time I come in. Hang on. One good thing is you can do this. And now you can kill them. Oh, that's weird. Hang on. It needs some sound. Let's just go 20%. Back. Oh, you can kill Endermen, and it's actually nice and quiet. That's beautiful. <laughs> but those fall particles when they land on the hoppers, that just looks ridiculous. Those fall particles, they should only come into effect when you land on a soft block like dirt, or sand, or gravel, or grass. They should not appear when you land on something hard like stone or a hopper. It's iron, for God's sake. If you land on something iron, you don't get fall particles, your legs break. So, that's a little bit silly. And water, too. Water should have fall particles if you land on it. But, um... Okay, end rant. I'm going to kill these guys, which is actually going to go pretty quick. I've got... <laughs> I've got a double chest... No, not a double chest. I've got half a double chest, so... One che single chest full of slime balls at home. So I can finish this ender complex. I can add on the extra levels it needs. Um, I just really don't feel like having to harvest all that snow. Because it requires a lot. Um, let's just make a diamond pick real quick. I'm going to repair off camera. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, how much does it cost to repair that? 37. If I rename it, hopefully it'll go to 32. I'm not sure how that works, so what's this? 32. Okay, so this has been renamed. So that guy's always going to cost 32. Sweet. Okay, so I can rename him or repair him. I want to rename him too, because that's a terrible name. U3E4 Work Pickaxe. <laughs> Stupid name. Anyway, okay, let's chuck a level 30 on a fishing rod. Um, okay. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get something good here. I'm excited. Come on. Unbreaking 3, Luck of the Seas, whatever, and Lure or whatever. Come on. And... Aw, oh, come on. We don't... We didn't even get a... Aw. Aw. I'm sad. Oh. Oh, we've got a few end pearls building up. I really wanted to have, like, Luck of the Seas or something on it as well. Alright, well I'm gonna slaughter some more Endermen. And I'll come back when I've got a level 30. <laughs> These particles. <laughs> These four particles are ridiculous. I'll come back when I'm ready to chuck another level 30 on a fishing rod. God, that seems like such a waste. Anyway, be right back. Alrighty everyone, um, level 30 here, so let's chuck that on a fishing rod and hope we get a better enchantment than just unbreaking three. <laughs> um, alright, oh, something good, something good, something good, come on, and lure three, okay, so if we combine those two we actually get a half decent fishing rod, <laughs> this is ridiculous, um, a fishing rod can only catch some, like 60 something fish I believe by itself, so that is going to catch a lot of fi or fish faster, but it's going to break quickly. That's going to still take forever, but it's going to last three times as long, and I'm still not going to get that much great loot from the ocean. So, I'm going to try my luck, try to get a level 30, and chuck it on my third and final fishing rod. Alright, level 30 again, um, I've turned up my Enderman volume. I've turned my Enderman volume back up, rather, and um, so they're going to be loud again. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm getting a bit impatient, so... Okay, well that's alright. That's basically those two combined, but no luck of the seas. So that looks like it's going to be rare. Just like looting the Silk Touch. Great! Um, so I'm going to repair these two picks quickly, off camera of course, because you guys don't want to see that, that's boring. And then I'm going to go fish for a while, and I guess I'll show you the highlights of stuff I've caught, I don't know. Um, I'll see you then. Okay, so let's just grab those, 
but I want some more ender pearls. Okay. We renamed this work pickaxe mark one. I really hope that's yeah, that's the um, naming convention I was going for. And this guy, if we do that, yep, and let's call it a work pickaxe. Now this is efficiency five. That's efficiency four. So this guy is mark whoops mark two because he's the, an improved version. Yes. Okay, and now they should be 32 levels to repair, unless I've stuffed up. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got the fishing rods, I've repaired this. Oh yeah, I wanted to get a level 30 and chuck that on a sword. So, it's going to go get level 30, that shouldn't take too long. And we'll, I'll enchant that on camera. Hopefully we'll uh, get a looting free, but we will see. Alright. Alright. Level 30, and let's chuck that on. Please, I'm closing my eyes. Oh, that's actually alright. I'm happy with sharpness 4. If I get an unbreaking book, chuck that on my sharpness 4 sword, and I've got an unbreaking 3 sharpness 4. Nice. The only way that could be any better is if it was sharpness 5. I'm not going to use it just yet, though. I want to be able to make it a sharpness... Well, I want to make it unbreaking. First, do I have any unbreaking books? Nothing, nothing. I haven't really been mucking around with books yet, because... I don't have a... I don't have a, um... Looting sword, so it's kind of hard for me to get leather. And... Well, I don't get leather as quick as I could. It's not renewable. Well, it is, but... I don't like to harvest my leather from cows unless I've got... Looting 3. And... This isn't running at full capacity yet, so it's still a little bit slow for my liking. So, yeah. Nope, don't go... Okay, we're going backwards now, and then we go back around. Uh, okay, there we go. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to go fishing, and... Yeah. Let's see what I get. Alrighty, guys. Um, I went fishing. I only did it for about 10 minutes. Um... And it is so much better. It is so much better now that it's been revamped. Um, I think the longest I had to wait to catch a fish or catch something... Oops, wow, I'm a genius. The longest I had to wait was maybe 20 seconds. And a lot of the time it was less than 5. It was um, so quick it was basically throwing the line. Whoops, there are bubbles coming all over, coming over to your line already. Um, I also really like the fact that you can see visually how close you are to catching a fish uh, with the bubbles, or how close you are to catching something. Um, and this is what I got in 10 minutes, 10 minutes of fishing. So we pulled in an Unbreaking 3 fishing rod, which is pretty bloody awesome. Um, we've got a tripwire hook, which is cool. I always need tripwire hooks because I need trapped chests. Water bottle, yeah, that's right. Saves me a sand, saves me one eighth of a coal. Then we've got 16 raw fish. I'm pretty sure that is the most fish I've ever sat down and got in one go. Because with the old fishing system, I would get bored so quickly. Um, we've got two raw salmon, which is awesome, and two puff fish. And I can't eat one. I want to see what negative effects it gives me. I know it gives me really bad effects, but yeah, I haven't I haven't seen it for myself just yet. I'm just going to put a little fish here. That'll probably do it for today, guys. Um, I've probably got 15, at least 15 minutes of footage, so that's a decent sized episode. Um, it's hard for me to upload the half an hour or more episodes because they take at least eight hours to upload. What am I saying? They take even more. They take more like 12 hours. My upload speed's terrible, it's like 320 kilobytes a second. Uh, great internet where I live. 
So, I think, I think I'm going to try and keep the episodes 20 minutes or less, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, cool, this is really starting to kick into gear now. Awesome. Um, so yeah, 15 minutes or less, so, yeah. I'll see you guys next time, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, this is Mystery, signing out.